Iowa 27, Minnesota 22. Obviously, we don't have to spend long on this one, but um, I, I thought that there was a world where Iowa might not win this game. Spencer Petrus was out in this one, and Alex Padilla, 11 of 24 for 204 yards and two touchdowns. Or sorry, 206 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, that's a ridiculous, ridiculous, you know, yards per completion percentage there. I mean, it's almost 20 yards per completion. They just hit chunk plays. They were able to, they only had, they only ran 49 plays. By the way, Minnesota ran 83. When I looked at this box score, uh, because I'm not going to lie, I had it on one of my TVs. I don't know how many times I actually looked over other than to just check the score. Because every time I watched, it looked boring and bland and Minnesota had the ball almost the entire time. I mean, they had over 40 minutes time of possession, and Iowa still found a way to win the football game. Like With I, almost no points to show for it. I, yeah. I didn't watch a single second of this game because of that very reason. There were too many other games that were on that were good, and this game just did not matter. So, of course, like we, we had to hit on it because Iowa is still in a position to, to maybe win the West if they can get Wisconsin beat. I don't think Wisconsin's going to get beat. I don't. I, what does Wisconsin's but, schedule look like, man? I don't think Wisconsin's losing again. I do not have it pulled up, but I can pull it up I'm right trying, now. Yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, Wisconsin has got uh, Nebraska and at Minnesota. So, it's. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibilities, but more than likely they won't be losing. But if they do, Iowa is sitting right there, ready to roll. Um, this was like this was a a tight game, but at the end of the day, like Iowa being able to win by by running half as many plays as Minnesota, uh, just kind of shocking. Kind of shocking. When you're a bad offense already, and you're playing with your backup quarterback, which you assume is makes your offense worse, that's important to be able to win with half the plays. And and you, you didn't get a turnover on the field very much at all. You you never got a turnover for Minnesota. And that's how Iowa has typically won. The only turnover in this game led to three points for Minnesota. So, you know, I mean, it is it is what it is. Uh, Brown Yeti said, I think it helps Norvell. And he said, I don't know how to spell his name. It's N-O-R-V-E-L or L-L. Let's see, that there there isn't another Florida team with seven wins this season. But well, yeah, he can he can certainly get Mullen fired at the end of the year. Like, that'll that'll almost certainly happen if they, if they decide to, like, whip Florida. That could really be the end of it for for Mullen. Gary Lewis jumped in for fun and gun on a different platform. Someone wrote 21 FSU will hit the trifecta by getting three different head coaches fired. And then he brought up Diaz and Mullen. Yeah, I mean, it's entirely possible. And uh, Big Ten fans who early in 21 claimed claimed lowly Fresno State is not on par with Minnesota are very wrong. Wonder which team is higher in SP Plus and in other key metrics. Fresno State has bad run D, but Minnesota pass D blows. I, I'm not going to argue with that. I like I, there's there's no way to argue with that. So Fresno State's good, but they I mean they ain't great. You know they they're not great. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.